A lot of new header owners keep making the same mistake when installing an O2 spacer to get rid of the P0420 check engine light, so I'm going to show you exactly where it goes. My friend Albert is installing this Weapon R spacer, but I've dug out my extra spacer because I'm expecting some clearance issues with the install. Now the most important takeaway from this video is that you do not install the spacer here. This upstream sensor handles the air-fuel ratio when the engine is in closed loop mode. Also, if you're getting a Weapon R header, chances are you'll need an extension harness or you'll need to lengthen the wires because of how they place the O2 sensor bung. Albert is using a discontinued Descendant O2 sensor extension harness he bought from another owner. I still haven't found a compatible harness as of this video. If you know of one, please post in the comments below. Also, you can run with the sensor unplugged, but it'll stay in open loop mode and run rich. Back to the O2 spacer though, you'll need to lift up the front of the car and crawl underneath to reach the S-pipe. We sprayed the downstream sensor with PB Blast. While that soaks in, let's disconnect the harness otherwise we can't unscrew the sensor. If we look in through the passenger side wheel well, you'll see the tab you have to depress to disconnect the harness. If you're lucky enough, you can just use a 22mm wrench to unscrew the sensor counterclockwise. We've already hit this thing with a map torch, but it still won't budge. This did the trick though. I had a 3 8 inch O2 sensor socket and a half inch breaker bar, so I had to use a 3 8 to half inch impact socket adapter. I had a feeling this was going to happen with the Weapon R spacer. It's too long to screw on with the S-pipe installed on the car. Albert's lucky my stainless steel spacer came in a 2-pack. It screws in easily. Don't over tighten it, but make sure it is secure. Before reinstalling the O2 sensor, we want to apply some copper based anti seize lubricant to the threads. Hand tighten the sensor, then give it a half to three quarter turn with a 22mm wrench. Reconnect the harness, and you're done. You may need to reset the check engine light using an OBD2 scanner or simply unplug the negative terminal from the battery for a few minutes. It's been a few days, and the check engine light has remained off. I hope this clears up some confusion with O2 spacers. If you haven't hit subscribe to my channel yet, please do so now, and as always, thank you for watching.